You might be thinking about ending the year with a holiday, but is there anything you can do about expensive peak period prices? I did a little research so you don't have to. And came up with five ways to save money on your year-end vacation. The first one you should go for will be looking at bundles. So bundles typically allows you to book multiple like activities, experiences, accommodations at a reduced price. So that also includes looking out for activity passes that allows you to book multiple attractions with just one pass. Here's an example of how booking a package could save you money. This one-week trip to Hong Kong includes accommodation and theme park tickets. Booking as a bundle comes with a discount of around 14% off the cost of booking the components separately. When it comes to planning peak time travel, booking at the right time also helps save you money. Here's an example of how much more you would pay if you booked at the last minute. I looked up flight prices to Tokyo for December. If you want to maximize your leave and travel during the Christmas period, you're looking at a price of over 3,000 Singapore dollars for a return economy ticket from Singapore to Haneda Airport. But if you're prepared to be flexible, simply adjusting your dates can cut that bill by more than half. Booking early also has advantages when it comes to tickets for popular tourist attractions. When you're considering your end travel, of course, we do encourage you to book earlier as well. So whenever you can, is to book early, such that you can probably secure some advance uh, tickets or even looking at um, early bird packages, for instance. And so according to some of the data that we have as well, we are seeing the booking window differ for products to products. So for activities and experiences for our top destinations, it's around 40 days now. So this means that people are actually booking about one and a half months ahead of their travel. That is uh, still a, a good enough booking window where you can secure the tickets that are available for the respective experiences that you're going for. So I think for last minute bookings, while still possible, I think usually on top of prices where it could be a bit higher, sometimes for selected activities, they may not be available anymore. So I think beyond just prices, it's quite key to look at availability or selected uh, activities. Another tip is to look out for flexible tickets so that you can book early and yet have leeway for changes in travel plans. You can look at some open data vouchers. So these are, uh, I'll say, activities that allows you to book the experience but without having to commit to a certain date. That means, you know, you can book the tickets but then just need to commit to booking within a selected window rather than a specific date. If the event you are unable to make it, you can still get a partial refund in the event where, uh, of like no show or you're unfortunately not able to make it. Other ways to save money by changing your destination? If you do want to save a bit more, there is merit in looking at some other destinations that are outside of these uh, popular ones. So some examples could be, say, looking at Da Nang in Vietnam, for instance, because that may not be the highest in the radar for most travellers, but it is a very good time to travel in the year-end because it's also very cooling. Or if not, even if, say, you're heading to Malaysia, you could be looking at the likes of um, say Cameron Highlands or even Langkawi. So Jasmine, you know, we all want to save money, but are there certain non-negotiables that we shouldn't be stinging on? So travel with friend insurance, I definitely recommend more for peace of mind. Highly recommend uh, booking your travel insurance the moment you book your flights. And if none of these tips work for you this holiday season, you could try using any December downtime to plan for the next peak travel period in June. Locking in your travel dates early could help you lock in big savings. That peak Christmas period flight to Tokyo that cost over $3,000? If you book now for June 2025, you'll pay around $900. That's less than 30% of the peak period price. Do you have a tip or hack for holiday travel you'd like to share? Get in touch with us at this email address.